Okay, new day, new project, new idea. So here we go. Today we will remove <coughs> the headlining or roof lining called. So all this beautiful stuff here on our roof that makes it look a bit better and more comfortable. <coughs> and is, which is also isolation for <coughs> against noises and temperature changes so what we have to do for it is to remove a few parts like this handle here um, then <coughs> and some other, other parts of the head the lights and all the other things <coughs> to remove it and how we do it is what i will show you now so open this handle and the, you can see there's a plastic clip behind you only have to remove it with a flathead screwdriver and then you can see there is a 10 mil screw behind <coughs> which you have to open and we do this all around so on all four handles and then continue with the other parts to remove them I will put the handle in in the door pockets for every door so I <coughs> know exactly where which door handle was and can put it in where it belongs to later. So let's continue with the others and then we can go one step further. So to, re to remove the head, the sun protection thing, uh, we need, oh, it's not that hard. We only need to remove this this part here. Hang on. Should go off. I just broke mine unfortunately, so it's not that easy, I don't know what happened because on the other side it was much easier, it just came off, but when you finished it, you need to uns unscrew it here. And I also put the sun protection stuff in my side pocket so it won't get lost. So then, when you are so far, just pull it out carefully and then you are done. So that's number one. And you have also to get this one. Oh, this one is, is a bit tricky, but there's a hole on the back side. There's this, this nose on the back side. And when you go in with a screwdriver, with a flathead, you can push a little nose forward and then you can twist it where it's working. And pull it out. So next steps are is here on the side. We have also to remove the other handles on the side here. Um they're yeah, also not not that hard, so only remove the clip here again on the top and on the bottom, and then take the screwdriver 
and remove the screws here. Number one. And number two. So, that's it. Shut the lid so you won't lose the screws. And everything is fine. So let's go to the next. So now we are ready to remove our sun case, sunny case and the indoor light. So that's not that easy. You only have to make it right because otherwise you will break it and have a lot of work afterwards. Uh, that is what we want to avoid. Um, to do this, you only have to push it a bit forward and pull it out and that's it. Or it's the back side of the car here, yeah, but to your side. So then you could pull it out and here is the plug. So just unplug it and then we can continue with the next part. What we do now is to remove the door, door rubber because you, you can see, maybe you can see it's here a um, bit, 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 the rubber goes a bit on top of this headlining so it makes it a bit easier <coughs> to get it out later. And then we need to remove this side cover here at the front. So that's just just clipped now because here, you remember here was our, our, where our handles before. And now we only need to remove it with pulling it out. Not complete, just a, just a bit so that we can get the lining over it. So now we are done in the here in the back, here in the front. Now we can continue on the back side. Okay, next step is, of course, <coughs> to remove the next handle and this side cover and this side cover here. So it's not that hard. Just go in here, remove this this lid, so you can you have so you have access to the next screw. And maybe it's like with me, like at my car, it's here. Uh, you can't get through to, to the screw, so just put this belt holder down and then you can see here the screw it's again a 10 mil screw we can remove this one and when we're finished with it you remove this handle so I'll remove this clips go in with a 10 with a screw everything um, with our wrench again unscrew it and remove this plastic cover it's just um, clips in like the others but don't pull it too far um, it's like here on the other side, just pull it a bit out that we can get the lining on over it and it's not fixed or, or get, getting holden, or holding by the cover. We also have two clips on the back side. One is here and one here which is holding the lining up on the roof. So for this, it's the best to go to take a flathead again, go underneath and pull it a bit out. So you can get a grip with a um, wire cutter and then remove it. So that's done. And when you did this, the next thing is to remove the side cover here again of the, the belt is underneath and all the stuff. But before we do this, we open the door and remove the door rubber a bit. So to give us a bit more freedom. And then they remove this plastic, but not complete. And it's all still like the other parts just clipped in. So that's it. So this is done. And now we need to remove our, our indoor light. And how this works is what we will see now. Should be, should be clipped in, I reckon, somehow. Oh, maybe not. We can let it in and I unplug it later. That's all right. Now I think we can remove our light.